are ahead of the next Historics Auction. I am with auction expert Matthew Priddy. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Vicky. <laughs> and we are on our way to the venue, which is Ascot Racecourse. And we're in a very, very special motor car. Very special indeed. So we are in a 1964 Aston Martin DB5. Ah. Nice way to travel to Ascot, that's for sure. Oh, it is such a lovely way to travel to Ascot, and I feel so privileged. I'm a massive James Bond geek. So, how many DB5s have you driven, Becky? Do you know what? This is my second one. Second DB5? Isn't, I know. I honestly thought that the first one I got to drive would be Gates. Oh, okay, yeah. But now I've been blessed to have number two, and yeah. this is in such great condition. So, yeah, this, this is fully restored, yeah, yeah. so it's beautiful, isn't it? Everything's as new. And it starts from the button, it yeah. drives well. It's on Weber Carbs this one. Yeah. So, you know, it'll give us a bit of a blast in a minute and really enjoy it. Don't scare me though, I'm not the greatest <laughs> passenger. Have I told you that? No, but pop it into third. Oh, look at that. And you can hear those Webers now, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and it's not like we've got full on ABS and carbon ceramic discs. No, we're, we're very reliant <laughs> at this stage on other people treating us with respect, aren't we? What about money? What's the estimate for this? So this one's 540 to 620. So we think it's somewhere late fives, early sixes. I think actually for one of this, in this condition is amazing yeah. condition. We see lots of these for sale nearer the million pound mark, fully restored or bespoke to people's wants. And I don't think this is a long way away from that at all. Yeah. Um, so I think good money, they do seem to change hands anywhere between 500,000 pounds and a million. Also, Tom Exton will be stepping out of YouTube to join us for a little while today. Uh, and okay, I yeah. think, actually, that's him coming up right now. Mm. That DB5 is mayhem. That Matthew and Vicky in here. How have they got here before me? Right, guys, you join me in an Alfa Romeo Zagato S. Z. I think Historic Sorsions must have been short of delivery drivers today because I've been entrusted with this incredibly rare 1992 piece of history. This car is something personally that I absolutely love. In fact, I actually remember having a picture of one of these on my dad's computer when I was a kid as the screensaver. Absolutely amazing piece of kit, very rare, with only around a thousand of these actually being produced and an incredible piece of history. Anyway, you join me off to Historic Auctions right now at the Ascot Racecourse. I'm off to deliver this car and have a little look around some of the lots on offer with Matthew and Vicky. We're going to be taking you around our favourite lots and seeing what there is on offer for this Saturday's auction. So the first car I'm going to look at is this Lotus Esprit Series 2. So this one was famed for being for your eyes only, so it's still a bit of 007. I think it had skis on the back and painted red in that one. So it's not quite like the Series 1, which everyone seems to scramble after, that was turned into a submarine. But this is very 80s cool, and it still is a Bond car. Now at the back you've got these incredible slats, a bit like Series 1, but I think slightly better and a little bit more sexy as an 80s car. The dual tone interior inside, it's an incredibly 80s, and 80s cars are cool right now because they're my age group wanting to buy them, of course. So this one particularly is 28 to 36,000 pounds, and I think very collectible, something for the James Bond fan or just someone that likes their 80s cars. Really cool. That second car is the McLaren MP4-12. So this was the first of the modern McLarens, and I think the best. I think it's probably the best built. It was under the Ron Dennis blanket at the time before we got into this modern day mass produced. You know, we've got prices of the LTs jumping around and the latter McLarens being a little bit dodgy on build quality, but this one I think is the one to buy. Now this particular model is between 65 and 75,000 pounds. It's in this blaze orange, which I think is perfectly fitting for a McLaren. And for me, one of the best modern sports cars that you can buy around this budget. So my next car, highest bid wins, is offered without reserve. Now not everything has to be 300,000 pounds and go 0 to 60 in three seconds. This is a lot of fun. Now it's got a breathe dot engine so it should keep up with modern day traffic, should be in the keyword. It's been beautifully restored and it looks lovely. It'd be great, great fun to drive. And the nice thing about these at Lost in Sevens and similar, no one ever gets angry with you on the road. It's possibly because it's the width of a pram, but also because it's just cute, it's fun. It's, it makes us put a smile on your face. So this is one of my favorites and I think this will do very, very well. Keep an eye on it. 
Okay, now on to some of the bigger stuff. Estimated 185 to 225, this is the AC Ace. This example, ground up, restored, it is achingly, achingly beautiful. It's like the older, sexier brother of the AC Cobra. This one running the flat six AC engine, it's one of the earlier cars, and it is beautiful inside and out. It's possibly the favorite car for me in the auction, and I'm really looking forward to see how well it goes. So this is lot 214, and this is right up there with this AC Ace for one of my favorite cars of the auction. This is the Chevrolet Corvette C2. And interestingly, it's a 1967 model year, which is quite unique. There are certain features about the car that you only find on that year. This one is the 427 big block car, which makes it ultra desirable. It's a stunning restoration inside and out. This is 75 to 89,000 pound reserve. You've got to see this car to believe it. Well, there's my five cars from this auction. Let's see what Tom's up to. Lot number 171, then, is this year 2000 Ferrari 550 Maranello, designed by Pininfarina and mated to a six-speed manual gearbox with a thumping V12 in the front. It is a UK right-hand drive car and has covered just 38,000 miles. It's available up for auction this weekend. This then, ladies and gentlemen, is lot number 217, a Ford Mustang Edition 55 CS800. What that means is it's pumping out up to 850 brake horsepower. Not to 60 takes less than three seconds and over 39,000 pounds has been spent upgrading the performance on this car. Absolutely nuts. It's also said that it will do over 200 miles an hour. It's of course available up for auction this weekend and full details are available on the Historics website. Now over to Vicky. This is a 1991 Ferrari 348TB. It is a mid-mounted 3.4 litre V8. It's rear-wheel drive and in a lovely rare fashion, it is a right-hand drive UK spec with a manual. Its estimate is between 48 and 59,000 pounds. But if you want something a little more rugged, then how about this? This is a Wildcat 200. And Drew Bowler gave his name to the company that he started in 1985. The first car that he settled with was a Series 1 Land Rover, which he competed in. This particular machine has competed successfully at home and abroad, and it has won the Baja de France and Great Britain in 2006. Its estimate is between 60,000 and 68,000 pounds, and yes, it's road legal. This is a 1969 VW Beetle, one of over 21 million that were ever made and sold. This comes in VW's lovely beige paint job with a caramel interior. It's had a full body restoration and it is offered with no reserve, which means you could pick this up for a bargain. If you want something different, look no further. This is a 1942 International K6 fire engine. It was originally built in America for the Singapore market, but it ended up in Australia, where it was a fire engine for a rural community near Brisbane. It eventually made its way to the UK, and as you can see, it has been converted into a dining truck and special event vehicle. It is offered with no reserve, so no minimum price has been set for it. It could be yours. Yeah. 